In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix that dreaded shank. It absolutely kills your scorecard. It's embarrassing, it's a horrible shot to hit. And today, after this video, you are never gonna shank it again. So let's start this video by defining what a shank is. A shank is where rather than making contact with the middle of the face, we actually hit the ball with the hosel of the club. Now, often that causes the ball to ping off at a sharp angle. Now, the whole concept of today's video is controlling space. Now, what do I mean by space? Well, space at address is how far is the goal ball away from the body. So we're gonna go through, number one, how to make sure we have the right amount of space at address. We don't wanna to be too close. We don't wanna to be too far away, because again, that can cause some shank shots. But also, we wanna make sure that we maintain that good space throughout the swing so that your arms can swing effortlessly. You're gonna hit it in the middle of the face. If that space between your body and the ball gets compromised, whether that be you falling forwards, kicking the leg in, the right arm straightening too much, then suddenly that club head is going to want to work further away from the body, presenting the hosel of the club and the dreaded shanks. By far, the most common reason as to why people shank it is because of a poor setup position. And what does that position look like? Well, it looks something like this. Well, in this position, you can see the golfer is too close to the ball. The weight looks like it's too far back in the heels and the balance points, if I draw a line straight down from the armpits, are well too far back. As a result, they don't have any of this space. So now as they swing, their arms are going to find the space. That space is going to be away from the body, but ultimately that means the club head has moved away from me. That presents the hosel that causes the shanks. We need to fix this and we need to fix this ASAP. It's also the easiest one out of all the changes that we're gonna go through to fix. The very first thing we need to do is get rid of the golf ball and also get an alignment stick. And just like that, we now have the alignment stick. So what I want you to do is to stand with that alignment stick in the arches of your feet. Now, from there, if you set up into this position, again, we don't have the golf ball now because the golf ball can be a distraction. If you are in this position where you're too close to the ball, where you're a little bit too far back with the weight, armpits are back, you're gonna feel like your weight is all this side of the alignment stick, which is not what we want. So the first thing I want you to do is to just rock forwards just to where you feel a nice even split between your toes and your heel either side of that alignment stick. Now in this position, I feel very, very balanced. The second checkpoint is where are then the armpits, the knees and the balls of the feet. You can see if I grab my club and I'd recommend doing this and I just pop it into my armpits, you can see how it just gently touches the front of the knees. And if I extend that line all the way down, it's right over the balls of the feet or another way of looking at it is the ends of the shoelaces. In this position, I'm a lot more athletic and now I can just let my arms hang. From there, I'm gonna grip the club and wherever that club head is, is where the ball is going to go. So now that I've gone through this procedure, I'm gonna put a mark where I know where that ball needs to go. Then I'm gonna bring this in and I'm gonna set up here. So you can see the difference between this position here, where I now have a good amount of space. I have good balance. I'm in a very nice position to where I can swing. I can get my arms working in and I'm not gonna shank the ball from this position. So the second most common reason as to why you shank it is your trail side kicks in. What does that look like? Quite often you'll see people in in a great setup position, great top of the back swing, and as they come down, they kick in. That then means the heels come up too early, the knees work towards the ball, the hips come forward. If we go back to the start of the lesson, we were speaking about this space. Well, this space is now gone, which is gonna force the hands out and in front of me, and as you can see, it is going to cause me to hit it out of the hosel, creating the dreaded shank. If I can actually work this trail hip, this trail knee, this trail foot correctly, you can see how I now have so much space to get the hands working in, inside, and then I can hit that beautiful shot that we're trying to do. The first thing we have to understand is how does the foot and the knee want to work? I want you to feel like everything can work in and across more. So I like to call it the bank and roll. So the trail knee is gonna work more towards the lead knee and the foot is gonna work to the inside and then roll through. If we can do that from the downline view, we're gonna see that we're gonna go trail knee to lead knee and then bank and roll. That's going to get you in a great position to where you have a lot more space. So here's an amazing drill that's going to help you fix that trail leg kicking in. So all you need is an alignment stick and if you're hitting off a mat, grab a basket to hold it in place. If you're hitting off grass, you just stick it in the grass. The way you're going to set this up is you're going to set up to the ball and you're going to place this alignment stick so it is about a club head width away from your knee or just below your knee, kind of the top of your shin. In this situation, if you were to go to the top of your swing and kick that knee in, 
skin, you would obviously touch the alignment sticks. So what we want to be feeling like is we can promote that trail knee working towards the lead knee, which is that banking motion. Then we're going to start to roll it through. So you should be able to hit shots where you don't touch this alignment stick. Now, the tip of the alignment stick has come all the way through to roughly the middle of my stance. Then this is going to be about a club head width outside of my trail leg. Let me show you what this shot looks like. I'm going to feel like I go to the top. Trail knee works towards the lead knee. That's going to prevent that kick in, taking up the space and causing the shank. Let's get this fixed right now. Let me give you an example of what that would look like. So as you can see, my trail leg worked in and around. That's definitely going to create a lot more space for me and it's going to help you fix those shanks. So the third reason as to why you shank it is your trail arm straightens too early. Now this one is slightly different from the other two because the other two were talking about a lack of space and as a result, the club working away from you. But in this situation, you could have a really good amount of space, but because that trail arm straightening too early, you are presenting the hosel of the club, AKA hitting no shank. What do we want to be seeing at impact with that trail arm? Well, with the best players in the world, we will see that their trail arm is actually bent at impact. A great analogy for this is imagine you are throwing a golf ball. If I was to grab a ball in my trail hand and take my lead hand and pop it behind my back, if I was straightening that arm too early, I would see that I would throw the ball and it would land before the golf ball. Here's the thing. When do we want to see that trail arm straighten? We want to see it straighten after the golf ball, so after impact. What would that look like if I was throwing a ball? Again, lead hand behind the back, I turn to the top, it would look something a little bit more like that. And as you can see, I threw the ball and it landed a good foot past that golf ball. That's a very simple analogy that can work absolute wonders in terms of understanding where that trail arm should be straightening. So now that we know the trail arm should be straightening after impact and actually at impact, it should be bent. Let's give you a drill for this. What I want you to do is to grab a head cover and pop it underneath your trail arm. If you straighten out that trail arm too early, you're going to find that that head cover is going to want to fall out. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit some half and three quarter shots and feel like we can keep this under there the whole time. Now it's going to feel like this trail arm is going to stay bent for as long as possible on the way through. But the key is to keep this under there the whole time. If it straightens too early, the head cover is going to fall out. So let me give you an example of this. We've got good distance away from the ball. Lake's not kicking in. Now from here, we're going to keep this under there and you're going to feel this trail arm be bent at impact. Now, if you're struggling with the shanks and you need some one-to-one -one help, be sure to check out my online coaching on the Skillist platform. I'll leave the link down in the description. You can get some one-to-one -one tuition no matter where you are in the world. Now, if you have any questions about today's video, please ask away. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you back here soon.